Thank you very much. I think we can start now. My name is Hiroki Nakatani. I'm serving today as, um, as the secretary of this meeting, and also I was serving as a very bad guy today <laughs> because um, um, uh, play, um, prepared a slides is number of slides is over 120 pages. So if uh, you speak one page, one minute, that is you have only 23 seconds to discuss. So that is not purpose of this meeting. So I will be a little bit asking you, short, short, short. Uh, please, please accept. So uh, just a housekeeping issue. One is uh, today's meeting is divided into two parts. Part one is recorded as a TV clue is, is here, but that will be only uh, on the web of KO. Oh, oh, and that will be viewed by our um, staff, alumni, and also um, association of Pacific Rim universities, uh, colleague universities and colleagues, and also public viewers can come. So that is part, part one. Okay. And then you are invited to come for speaker seat, just this over there. So your slides is already on load of a, a PC. You can sit or you can stand when you speak. Uh, that is up to. But I think in order to, uh, to uh, record clearly, please use microphone. So that is um, part one. Part two is, is, is um, not recorded, but short report will be prepared uh, uh, following Chatham House rules. So after your endorsement, that will be again online of KO webpage. But um, a short report will be viewed first uh, by you. So this is um, one part. And uh, uh, to, in order to satisfy your physical needs, Toilet is over there, <laughs> outside the room. And coffee is available over there. Okay. So that is to meet your physical needs. Then, uh, let us start. And I will like, give a microphone for Professor Yasui, who will chair the part one. OK, good afternoon, everybody. I'm Masaru Yasui, Vice Dean for International Collaboration, KO School of Medicine. As you are well aware, the society we live in is aging very rapidly. This is a pressing and sensitive issue for not only Keio or Japan, but for entire the world. <coughs> Today, I'd like us uh, to discuss ways to address it together with a focus on initiative uh, that could make our aging society better and more comfortable for everyone. In the first part of this meeting, we will be welcoming four distinguished speakers who will introduce their activities, particularly in the field of healthy longevity. I'd kindly like to ask all the participants to save your questions for the discussion in the second part. Now, I'd like to welcome our first speaker, Professor Masayuki Amagai. He is the Dean of Keio Medical School. Uh, school, uh, school of Medicine, as well as a member of the U.S. National Academy of Medicine. Thank you very much. Um, this is Masa Amagai, the Dean of uh, uh, Keio University School of Medicine. So my role here is to welcome all of you and also do the, some uh, brief introduction of uh, Keio University of School of Medicine. But I want to start with this picture. This two shot. <laughs> was taken at the induction ceremony for new members, National Academy of Medicine, which was happened in last year at Washington, D.C. I was extremely thrilled and honored to be an international member of NAM. You have a very good smile. <laughs> for, following the president. So the Keio University is Japan's first modern institution of higher education, which was established, uh, founded 1858. That is before the Japan opened the country. And that Keio is uh, older than uh, Waseda, or Chuo, or private university, and even older than University of Tokyo or University of Kyoto, which is a representative university of national university. And Keio University was founded by Yukichi Fukuzawa, uh, who is the uh, visionary and intellectual leader. And uh, his uh, uh, portrait is uh, printed on the 10,000 yen Japanese bill. 
So, Dr. Zhao, if you happen to have the 10,000 yen, our, our founder is in your pocket. And almost all Japanese uh, uh, citizens are, ca are carrying the, our founder in their pockets, too. And uh, this, these are the facts and the figures of uh, K, uh, Keio University. We have about 10 undergraduate uh, faculties and 14 graduate school, and the more than 2,250 full-time university faculty members, and a 15 to 1 student faculty ratio. And uh, um, the, one of the strongest part of a university, we have about 370,000 alumni all over the world, which are really strongly connected and linked to each other, including three prime ministers and the two astronauts. And uh, uh, KOL was selected as one of the 13 top research universities for the top global university project by government in 2014. And the topic we chose was longevity, security, and uh, creativity. So longevity is one of the strongest field uh, our uh, university can provide. And uh, this uh, top global university project was uh, very strongly um, led by uh, immediate past uh, uh, president of Keio University, Atsushi Seike. And uh, this is the uh, uh, philosophy of a medical school, which was founded by Shibasaburo Kitasato. And our founding philosophy was a physician scientist tried to unite basic and clinical medicine. And uh, then the uh, following the uh, uh, 1917, then the 30 years later we had the World War II, so 80% of our building was burned down. But uh, only three years later we rebuilt the hospital and continued to develop. And then 1986 we have the uh, current building which we are located. Then uh, uh, there's a new uh, building for the uh, a basic and research uh, activity, and most recently, the summer inpatient clinic. Uh, however, the, w one of the very hot topic of uh, Keio University right now is that we will open new hospital building as uh, one of the major sentinel project, and it will open May 7, so in three weeks. And you can see the building just a, a corner of, uh, of this room. And uh, this uh, new hospital has the 94,000 square meter, the 11 floor high and two uh, basement floor, and it's earthquake proof. So it's, you can continue to do operation even the major earthquake hit. And it contains 800 beds and 80% of outpatient clinic. And more, more um, uh, importantly, the uh, main stadium of the uh, Tokyo Olympic to, uh, 2020 is just 200 meters away from our campus. So we will have the major collaboration with the uh, uh, Tokyo Olympic. And this is the actual picture of the uh, new building, which was taken just a month ago. You can see that we are here now the, on the 11th floor on this building, so you can appreciate how big the new hospital uh, building is. And this is from the another angle, and uh, this is Shinanomachi Station, and you can appreciate the new building uh, like this. And this is another angle of the new hospital from the uh, uh, street. And uh, this is the inside, this is a medical street. And uh, this is the uh, cafe lounge forest, because one of the uh, theme of our new building is the uh, forest. Because uh, th um, uh, this area is uh, one of the green rich area in, the, uh, in Tokyo. And uh, this is the outpatient reception. And uh, so, with this new building, we want to conduct uh, the KO medicine, which is the unite uh, from uh, uh, basic medicine and critical medicine, so from bench to bed and bed to bench. And also, we have a very strong uh, activity in international collaboration. Uh, and uh, actually, the, uh, only two months ago, we have a KO Kellen Symposium on 
aging and longevity. And uh, we have a three-day uh, meeting uh, in Kelm. And uh, this is the, uh, uh, Thomas, the dean of the uh, Kelm Medical School. And uh, uh, now we is improve, uh, uh, improve our relationship even further. And uh, we will do the online lecture series, not only in medical school, but also the uh, Faculty of Economics. And also we have a KO Medical Science Prize, uh, which uh, started uh, 1996, so we are doing this for 23 years. Among the KO Medical uh, Science Prize winner, uh, there is seven Nobel Prize winner. And, uh, and in US, uh, KO Medical Prize, uh, sometimes uh, uh, mo uh, even more famous than KO Medical School itself. <laughs> So, where are you from, a med uh, KO Medical School? Or, but the, they didn't uh, react, but sometimes, oh, oh the, we are providing KO Medical Prize. Oh, you are from there. So, yeah. so this is a very good promotion of our um, KO University. So, I want to sample some of the activity which are uh, closely related to the longevity, healthy longevity project. I think Professor Okano will present the, uh, his uh, major um, activity in his field, but I want to sample some of the uh, uh, activity, science activity from our medical school. And one, uh, first one is the uh, uh, Kenya Honda, uh, who actually uh, found, con linked the development of certain T cell subset and uh, bacteria, gut bacteria. So in 2009, he found that uh, segmental filamentous bacteria actually induce TH17 cells, which are uh, uh, involved in the, uh, some inflammatory process. And uh, then, since then, he, he found some connection with the FOXP3 positive Treg cells and TH1 cells and TD8 T cells. Now he is analyzing the uh, gut microbiota in uh, uh, sentinel uh, individuals. So we, he wants to find out wh what bacteria is uh, uh, involved in the uh, uh, healthy longevity. And then another uh, activity is done by Toshiro Sato, who actually established organoid technology uh, when he was um, in the Hans Kleber's uh, lab, and he came back to uh, Keio University, and he extended this organoid technology. Uh, now he set up many, many assays to uh, ask the very fundamental question, how the uh, uh, human colon uh, epithelial cells uh, uh, become malignant uh, by introducing series of uh, uh, oncogenes, and, uh, and also he now transplants those organoids in the in vivo situation. So I think this, uh, his uh, organoid uh, uh, technique provides a very fundamental um, uh, function in both normal, uh, normal and the cancer state, and also inflammatory state. And uh, this is the uh, uh, Masahiro Jinzaki, who is a professor of the radiation diagnosis. And he and his team are now uh, uh, developing the upright CT for standing position. Because a regular CT for the lining position, which kind of um, uh, neglects the uh, gravity effect. So for example, is the, the, uh, for the elderly people has the uh, some uh, locomotive um, diseases uh, of the spine degeneration in the standing position and uh, that this uh, narrowing the space and the sliding of the disc is not that appreciated but in the standing position you can clearly uh, demonstrate that. And also uh, this is the uh, superior vena curva in the lying position you can see that the, the certain, you know, the volume is appreciated, but the standing position, because back flow to the heart is mo much more reduced, so you can appreciate this is this uh, SBC is much thinner. So I think to evaluate the um, um, elderly people in the you know, physiological condition on standing position 
it's very important. And also, this is the, um, done by Yuko Kitagawa, who's the uh, professor and chair at the Department of Surgery. And he is now the, uh, uh, developing a minimally invasive surgery uh, with endoscopic and laparoscopic approach. For example, gastric cancer, the, it, um, the total gastro, gastrectomy was the standard treatment. But now, with the using the um, endoscope as well as a laparoscope, you can uh, actually take out the uh, malignant lesion uh, without, with very, very minimum invasive. And now you can appreciate that uh, from the endoscope, the cancer lesion was uh, removed. And it's very important to provide minimal invasive surgery to elderly people to improve and maintain healthy longevity. And at last, the, uh, myself is working on the uh, peripheral trans for the autoimmune disease because many elderly people develop autoimmune disease. And uh, uh, using their own peripheral trans mechanism, we try to develop the antigen-specific uh, immune suppression in the future. So I want to finish up with the, uh, some uh, movie clip of the uh, Keio University Medical School. Divisions between medical specialties threatened the medical community. Keio University set out to overcome those divisions by forming a brand new school of medicine. Emphasizing collaboration between basic and clinical medicine. Practicing medicine to make real contributions to the welfare of the people. These were the missions of Keio University School of Medicine. In the spirit of practical learning, with the principles of independence and self-respect, medicine with a strong sense of humanity and profound wisdom the unique position of the physician-scientist. Sound judgment based on solid ethical principles. Collaboration in medicine between basic and clinical science. From the lab to the clinic, translating basic research findings. Turning clinical observations into new possibilities for basic research. Strengthening the cycle of basic and clinical research, enhancing one another. No matter what, fighting disease every step of the way, staying by the patient's side. With unending research and training, developing healthcare for the future, truly contributing to the welfare of humankind through medicine and healthcare. Our vision is to offer the best possible medicine and healthcare through integrating basic and clinical research. Our challenge continues, striving to realize this goal day after day, as we have done throughout our 100 years of history and will continue to do for the next 100 years. is Keio University School of Medicine. Thank you very much for a very kind attention.